super dry. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I have some fun stuff to show you and we are going to make a quick project that needs your input, but it's designed up here. <laughs> One of these days I will get ahead. So let me get this stuff all sorted out. I'm going to switch to this one. You don't need my hands quite yet. So let's turn that off. I have a bunch of information to share. My nose is running. So if you can see my screen, I was going to say, I'm not sure what that is. Um, if you place an order with me this month, December 2021, if you're watching this live or, or on replay relatively soon, if you use this host code and you spend over $60, you are going to get my Santa's workshop tutorial for free. Now I showed all of the items last week. I need to get the video recorded, edited, and ready to go because Christmas is a coming, right? Tutorials all typed up. Just need to do quick demonstration. Gonna do that tonight. Uh, so there's that. So that is Santa's workshop. Hi Megan, hello everybody. Just a reminder, if you are joining me from your from my Facebook group, I can't see your name. I don't know why it does that. It's only Facebook groups. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so today only, if you spend over $65 before taxes and shipping, well, taxes, <laughs> you are getting free shipping. And if you spend over $65, you're getting free shipping and my Santa's workshop. Now that is only running today. Run, don't walk, don't wait. Okay, quick. Uh, that one's done. Craft and Connect. I did a poll, Penguin Place One. These are the designs, spoilers of the designs that we're going to be making. This is open worldwide. I can only do the kits in Canada and I started prepping last night. I made about 150 card bases last night between Festivity Delivered, which is using the candy canes right there. <laughs> and Penguin Place is my Craft and Connect. Hi. Okay. Um, hi, Wendy. Uh, da, 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 da. So those are spoilers of the designs. You make two each of the four projects. So if you're in Canada, you can purchase the kit. If you are anywhere in the world, you can purchase the PDF. I can't sell outside of Canada, but you can get the PDF, which will have a link to, um, will it have a link? You will need the tutorial before you start the Zoom class, which will be available for replay after the fact. The tutorials will be on my website forever. Okay, so that is Craft and Connect. Hi, Pam, thank you for sharing. Isn't it cute? I saw some alternatives with the penguin punch. I mean, we know about the snowman, right? I can't reach, but we did a snowman like two weeks ago. So there's a seal and there's even other critters on the inside of that card. I so want to show you and it may not look like much, but it's a fun fold. All the fun is on the inside. Well, maybe not all because you've got that. Now I realize on that one, the, the seal and the penguin are sitting on kind of the pool party ice flow and they're on all white background. That probably should be reversed and you can do that if you want. But uh, yeah, I can't believe how popular this one is. So I started prepping last night. I've got festivity delivered to prep, Craft and Connect to prep. I've got uh, my Santa's workshop videos to record. So much to do, so little crafty time. But man, was I productive yesterday. Uh, okay, so that's Craft and Connect. And Craft and Connect, I do every month. There's a poll that goes in the Facebook group and one of my brilliant team members suggested, it's pure genius. I'm gonna share it but not tonight because I still have to work out all the details. Okay, um, creativity delivered. Do you see why I did all this? It's a lot. And hello, Dory. So I didn't want to forget anything. I don't want to be rambling, although I feel like I am, but <laughs> it's focused rambling, right? So creativity delivered. We are using the classic cloche bundle this month. If you don't have this bundle, whether you're participating in creativity delivered or not, buy them separately 
because the dies are 50% off. You're gonna save way more than if you buy the bundle. But don't wait. Nothing is guaranteed. Usually we have uh, stamp sets are guaranteed by a certain date. They're not offering that this year. So once things sell out, they sell out. And I was going to show you, I created this. Uh, you can't see me, can you? <laughs> okay, I'll wait till we're back. Um, things are selling out and once they sell out, they're gone. So sign up for the Classic Cloche by December 20th and that is it. Okay, so now look at my new board. It looks so dark in here. It's so beautiful and white and I know you can see a bit of my light. If I lean forward, you can't. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn off that one light just so that it's not casting a shadow but my microphone is around something else that's an extra challenge you know what we're gonna leave the light because i am stuck <laughs> i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm stuck oh silly me i wrap i wrapped it i wrapped it around this thing hi vi and if i move too much my die cutting machine is gonna fall down so i'm i'm stuck right here and I'm so out of shape that that made me hot. Okay, so Snowflake, the Stitch Snowflake dies. Sold out, they are gone. Finito. So I made this card last week. I love how it turned out. Hi, Feline. Love how it turned out. So if you have these dies, you can still make this, but so pretty, right? Pink snowflakes. Oh my goodness, it did not fix it. Uh, oh, now let me just fix this because you can't see me can you not that you really want to um thank you so much hi Roz. hi deborah so i've got a lot to show you and i don't want this to take all night because part of me going live at 6 30 central is so that i beat all of the people that go live at seven so if this takes an hour and a half it's not really helping right uh oh nice you've got the snowflakes from last year so take a breath on the classic cloche note oh my i swear it didn't look this bad all day uh i created this this morning before work actually i hadn't cracked this thing open other than to die cut the trees which are amazing by the way there is one large um one extra large two large three medium and six small awesome but I hadn't actually used this, so I created this card. And if you saw my YouTube video this week, it's the Happy Holidays. Um, ooh, I can reach that one. Uh, I shared it in a demonstrator group, and it hasn't gotten a whole bunch of love because it doesn't look special, not in the picture. But this, the coloring is... Um, I took a master class from Jay from Mitosu Crafts, and... Oh my goodness, this was my first bird, that's my second. I love them both. So this one opens up, look how crooked my sentiment is. But look how beautiful it is. So this is my other colored bird. I'm not going to show how to color it because if, thank you Pam, some cracking cards tonight, nice. Uh, I'm guessing that's nice, cracking cards. He is Megan. If you have any interest in learning how to color with stamp and blends, highly suggest taking this class. You can take like one module. I took the happy holidays. It's not like this huge commitment. You sign up for one. He's had um, the Be Jolly stamp set. It's got a whole bunch. So go to Matosu Crafts. Uh, hi, Linda. So colored my bird, I needed something to put him on. Use the wintry embossing folder, use some of the tidings and trimmings DSP, which is going to be what we use with the classic cloche. Uh, use the branch from the birds and branches. And you can see I added some of the glittery shimmer, shimmery effects, glitter, shimmery crystal effects. Had it all wrong. So this took no time outside of the coloring, but do you, do you see how my little birds match the big bird? He's looking in through a window or whatever. I mean, I don't even know. Do birds live in a cloche? And then I added a little bit on the inside. That was not the one I was going to add. Oh, well. 
it's in there now. Okay, so I want to show you two more things. I decided to do something and I blame Kathy Zielski. Oh, two hours. Um, so I did a December album two years ago and it was almost done. And then my daughter and her boyfriend broke up and I mean, their stories were throughout, so I didn't finish it. So this year I thought I'm going to do something. So it's not December daily per se, because I'm not using Allie Edwards stuff, but December stories, 2021. And when I was cutting this with my scan and cut, it got mangled. So I had to cover a little part there. So I think this is going to be so much fun, one, because you're sharing stories, but two, I found that when I looked at my album from two years ago, it was a great way to see what product we were using, like so, so cute. So not only is this December stories, it's like a sampler. Okay, so I did, I used one of the treat bags and I did this. I didn't notice until afterwards that winter 2021, my R moved down there. So I have to reprint. But I want you to see that despite Stampin' Up! not having a lot of scrapbooking stuff, you can still do it. Okay, so I put the Christmas season, Christmas to remember, the pine cone dies on here. I did my peaceful deer on here. This was actually going to be the title page and then I found that. So we've got the whole ever, uh, evening evergreen and soft succulent on here. And then this was actually the first page I created and oh! smitten doesn't even begin to describe it and melanie was over and i showed her this she's like oh, i didn't want to love those dyes i didn't want to get those dyes she's like but i see it like this and oh my goodness so you know that knitting holds a special place in my heart and i just had to use these so i used the background stamp which is carrying forward uh, and then i used the dyes which are not carrying forward, but you can make yourself kind of an ugly sweater. And I was gonna say too cute to be ugly, but I added some of the rose gold specialty paper in all of the snowflake negatives. I added the ombre glitter paper. So it goes from light to dark, light to dark. Uh, this was kind of a pain putting all those pieces back in, but love it. And then I decided I got the circle cutter that I hadn't used really didn't need it but was feeling guilty that I hadn't used it and great way to tie in the pages so we've got some of our whimsy paper which is all gone and then burr and I just love the way these nest and those letters fit just perfectly now <laughs> yeah exactly it's too hot too cold here we are actually like in a deep freeze we this is like January weather I'm like Ooh, I don't think I want to be here in January if this is December. Um, but this got me wondering how many of you got your start by scrapbooking? I did. My ex-husband actually said the kids were going to need U-Haul trucks just for their scrapbooks when they moved out. So it got to a certain age and life got busy and I was like, okay, we could slow down. And then I eventually stopped. But this makes me want to do it again, even only if it's only December, but it kind of got me thinking and Melanie helped me with this and um, you've never scrapbooked Megan. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of wondering if we should do like a pocket scrapbooking class or some kind of scrapbooking class where you're learning something every month. You're playing with your product. You're using it like we're using this, but we're going to be able to look back at it forever. And I will tell you, I get obsessed with my pages. I keep flipping back and Okay, so this is the story about how I needed a new coat and I used the girl from Delivering Cheer. This was probably the fourth time I colored her because I wasn't happy with the color combinations, but I used those stitch snowflakes, the ones that actually pierce into the paper because I hadn't used that yet. Love it. And all tied together. So it's basically a spread and I don't need the colors to match from page to page because I'm kind of trying to show the product that I have in here. So this one I really struggled with, but I used the um, bright baubles and then I've got the festive and bright. So there's the story of my son putting up the tree and that's kind of all I have. So I ordered a photo printer, just one of the Canon selfie ones, because I mean, I don't want to keep printing these on paper, but I thought this was going to be such a great idea. You come back a year, two, three later, and you can see the product that we were using in that year. 
Ha! Huh. Okay, so 67 degrees. Uh, Wendy, is that you asking if you can join in? I'm kind of thinking that it might be like a craft and connect or maybe one of my monthly Facebook lives is focused on scrapbooking, memory keeping. It doesn't have to be scrapbooking, but memory making Monday. Like, I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas here. Okay, so very small pre-order. If you saw, thank you so much. Um, if you saw my happy holidays video, I talked about how I am going to be doing my purchasing a little bit differently for this new catalog. Um, these are the brushed brass butterflies. You have to say it slowly. I am not going to go <laughs> quote me when I go and try and buy all this stuff. I don't want to go and buy everything in the catalog. I want to make use of what I have, make my purchasing strategic, focus on the bundles that I love. And I don't know that I could focus on a whole bundle or suite for a whole month, but I'm thinking a solid week for sure. YouTube video, Facebook live, maybe a blog post, but focusing on how you can use these things for more than just the one project you buy them for. Okay. Brush. This was actually an all attendee on stage gift. These are the iridescent rhinestones and OMG. Aren't they beautiful? I don't have a large pre-order. Right. So Pam is saying that the knit sweat, let's add this. Pam is saying that in the US, the knit sweater dies are $17, which probably means they're about 23 ish in Canada. Go and get them. Um, I was going to say no pressure, but yeah, there's pressure. Go get them <laughs> before they sell out. Uh, these are the stripes and splatters, 3d embossing folders. Can't wait to use them. I don't know why I said that like that. This is the gingham embossing folder. This is amazing silhouettes and I'm just going to say it. I don't like this stamp set. This was an all attendee giveaway and I swear, I'm so sorry if I offend you, but it's like they picked the one stamp set they knew we weren't going to want. Mm. But the dies are to die for. So word dies. Can all of us demonstrators please rush on over to the sandbox and say more words, more alphabets. I need alphabets because I am telling you right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe we should start a club. Although I said in my YouTube video, I know it's pretty stupid for someone who's trying to do this as a business to say that, but I want to be able to use this stuff and not feel guilty that when it retires, I haven't even nicked the surface of what I can do with it. So I'm going to be more strategic. And then maybe I will actually make money. <laughs> um, we need alphabet dies. And I'm going to tell you right now, I ordered off-brand alphabets because all we have are the playful alphabet dies. Not good enough. And one of my team members was so generous and lent me a bunch of her dies. So I need to die cut like a whole bunch of letters so that I can do some memory keeping. So we've got amazing thanks you and R. So we have the word, we have the shadow. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'll put these in order. Eden's Garden, of course. And I actually made, uh, I had to make some dog sympathy cards the other day. And I actually use this on the front. My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. And then on the inside, I use this, which is a new celebration stamp set. It is free with a $120 order. You know what? I, I need to look at using my scan and cut for letters, but I also need to be able to have the paper stick. So I got some Aline's tacky spray to try. Uh, oh, um, I can't tell who you are, but <laughs> you know what? It's been forever since I did any scrapbooking. Dave and I have been together. For, it'll be 12 years on Christmas Eve, and I haven't done it since probably, I'm going to say 10 years ago. Loved it. Loved digital scrapbooking more because you didn't have to take out 9 million things. Okay, so you need this stamp set. This special moments, I use the with sympathy on here. Uh, where would I be without a friend like you? I have something for you. Uh, you're holding it. Love that. 
uh, I think my favorite sentiment in here is it's okay to feel the feels. So free with a $120 order in Canada. Love this. Kind of reminds me of the In Your Word stamp set. Uh, so I did combine some sentiments from those two. So this is Celebration. Flowering tulips. I have a retirement card to make and I'm thinking this is going to be the perfect sentiment. Let today be the start of something new. Love that one. The dies are amazing. Like think uh, the poppy bundle. This one is so neat. You could make your own little square confetti. Hello beautiful. First of all, you're amazing. They are. These are all my pre-order and I'm scared to tell you how much this little bit cost me. Now, three of the bundles I had to get because the uh, Fab and Floral Retreat, which we haven't announced yet. I did put a save the date on my Instagram stories today. Um, the Galentine's Day weekend, we are doing Fab and Floral Retreat. And I ordered three bundles, sweets, bundles for that. And it was not cheap. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> That's a lot of dyes. Uh, Hello Beautiful. Now I know this isn't going to be most people's cup of tea, but I, I like the sentiments. I miss your face. But what got me are the shapes because if you notice, my logo right there has a hexagon, right? Hello Hexies. And then I haven't die cut these, but look at the detail on there. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought these were stitched. They are not but they are some small circles. I still prefer punches for circles, but I love this one. There's DSP that coordinates, but it was 20 bucks and it's four by six. And I'm like, I can wait. On the horizon, stamp set doesn't look like much, right? I mean, good sentiments. You ready? I can't wait to play with this. Look at these picket fences. You've got this little cluster of trees, you've got some mountains, and this is by far my favorite piece. These little houses, which look like beach houses. So stinking cute! And then the last one is the Sweet Conversations, and I will tell you this was not on my list. I got talked into this one. I need this one. Uh, there are some cute dies. There are a heck of a lot of hearts in here. Look, one, two, three, four, five that are probably the same size. I don't know why they're all individual. You've got a cluster of six there, four, three, four. Oh, look, there's even one more. So there's, how many did I say? There's six individual hearts. You've got this cute little envelope. So cute. I'm sure I'll use these. I'm, I, I'm not going to tell you what I want to make. Okay, so that is my pre-order. I actually have the rainbow bundle. If you haven't had a chance to get a load of the rainbow bundle yet, I love it. Uh, right, I don't, I don't love the 4x6. I love that there's gold in it and it's pretty, but... Okay, this is the DSP that coordinates with the Horizon paper. Like, hello, you don't even have to do anything. The paper does it all. I don't think I could bear to use the B side of any of those though. Um, I'm very limited in how far I can go. So I'm just gonna flip through these quick and I told you we we're gonna do a quick project. Okay, this is a celebration. This is the Marblicious, I wanna say. Simply marvelous. I was close. Mar Marblicious. Okay, so marble on one side, like satin on the other. Woo! Ooh! I will be using all of that smoky slate. This is the Rainbow DSP. Sunshine and Rainbow. So this coordinates with the new Rainbow Bundle. And I think this one's going to go fast. I really do. So cute. Oh, I love that one. And if you hadn't, haven't had a chance to look at the catalog yet, rainbows and clouds and those types of things are going to be big. Um, I have the tulip and the uh, sweet talk DSP, but they aren't open yet. So 
I want to do a very, very quick project. I had this thing in my head and could not remember which bundle I was thinking about. So the time of giving dies, if you watched my uh, Global Stampin' video hop, I didn't share this one. I shared a little tea light box, but this is a gift card holder. So cute, right? So I thought, la, oh, that's the second time that O has fallen tonight. So I was thinking we were going to use this die and I thought, ooh, this would be so cute with a classic cloche. Little big. So that didn't work. Marvelicious, right? <laughs> Hi, Susan. So one of the ideas I had, this started out as a slim line and now it's almost like the size of a note card because it didn't work. My bunny got messed up. But I thought, how cute would it be to have some deer in a field with this, not with a tag, you would cut this part away, but a night sky with Santa and his reindeer up there. And this one's like, I want to go. <laughs> Okay, so there's that idea, but I thought we're going to do a very easy, simple card. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I wish we had more of the letters. We're going to do ho, not o. Well, I am die cutting this piece because we're going to use black glitter paper for that. Are, should I use the red velvet or should I use the ombre glitter? Have your say now. And I will get this going because I need to die cut the letters a couple of times. Marblicious. Hey, get in there. Oh, I had the back closed. It's like we can't go anywhere. Oh, red velvet ombre, dancing deer sleeve, right? I think that would be so cute. But I couldn't remember which bundle. I'm trying to fall asleep. And you know when you get mad at yourself, you're like, oh, stop thinking brain. I need to go to sleep. I just couldn't shut it off. And it was driving me nuts. And I finally remembered what I was thinking of. And then I'm like, oh, I should get up and write it down or draw it. Because you know, I'm going to wake up in the morning and not know. But I remembered. Thank you, Jean. We are voting on the word, well, the letters H-O being in the ombre glitter or the red velvet. I'm thinking I probably should have run this back and forth. It might be too late. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to line that up. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Surprise, surprise. Come out. But yeah, I thought the deer would be great with this. I would really love to use the Santa from Be Jolly, but then if Santa's on the ground, who's this? <laughs> I'm glad I thought about that before I started making it. Like, uh, <laughs> we need a sentiment that has Santa saying, uh, who dat? <laughs> okay, just gonna pop these out, cut that away. And for those just tuning in, make sure whatever market that you're in, I guess, Megan, it's probably too late for you, um, but make sure you don't miss out on that free shipping. It ends tonight. And to be honest, I don't know what time, probably 11. So do not wait. You don't want to miss out. I, unfortunately, had to place two expedited orders this week, and neither one of them happened to be today. But... I don't think we get expedited shipping for free. Anyways, I couldn't find anything that said that it didn't, but I also, I needed to order the penguin punch before it went out of stock. Okay, I think I'm just going to cut this part away with my scissors. Oh, so much talking. Okay, so just cut that one leg away so that he still has a leg. I mean, it's kind of choppy, but Whoa, this is really hard to see. So I think when I cut the flat part, I'm going to turn it over. End it, yeah. Saved a bundle as I placed a big order. Good for you. Okay, so it looks like red velvet is the way we're going to go. What do you think? Should I go this way? I feel like I need more to hang on to. 
also feel like the guillotine or the guillotine is the better cutter because I don't want my uh, trimmer to tear anything. And what I like about this one is once you can see the metal, you kind of know you're in the right spot. I don't want to cut off so much that <laughs> they're not connected and I have to glue them. You know what? We probably don't need that little piece at the bottom, do we? Probably not. We'll cut off that little bit, that little bit, because the sleigh would have that. I should have put adhesive sheet. For those of you that are demonstrators, when you place an order, do you forget something every time or is it just me? Placed the expedited order yesterday, ordered my rainbow bundle, and immediately after I'm like, ah, oh, I need to order more adhesive sheets. So usually what I do is I go in, I start another order, I add it to that and just kind of keep a running order until I'm ready to place it. But every time. Okay, I think that is good. Oh, one more. Ooh, that is getting delicate. <laughs> now, what do you think? Should I cut out all three ho-ho-hos or should I just do one and then take a picture and show you after? Because it is 7.02 and um, this is when everyone goes live. Everyone. I actually, <laughs> yap, yap, yap. Um, I actually thought about changing to a weekend day like Saturday afternoon or something but then it occurred to me that um, like Tiffany I would have to skip lives on the weekends that we have retreats and I don't want to do that I love that unless I'm like on death's door I'm live right I hope you do too love that not on death's door okay now the only thing I don't like about die cutting the velvet is that it gets flattened. You see it kind of changes the texture. It flattens it. I should have used a piece of sheet on that too. Okay, so do you see where, okay. <laughs> we aren't going anywhere. Okie dokie, so what I want to do is have ho, 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 and then this is going to kind of be in the middle. You know what, I'm just going to keep going. It's only, two more passes right and this is going to be very simple I'm not going to add anything else I'm actually even I'm contemplating just doing a one layer card and not having a mat although this would look kind of cute with DSP behind it I think I want the images to do the talking cute 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 So what do you think about a, uh, what if you die cut the, oh, I'll do one after this because if this one turns out weird, I don't want to have two hoes that look the same and one that's different. <laughs> that sounds silly, doesn't it? Um, so what does everyone think 1.05 a.m.? That must be Wendy. Um, what does everyone think about a scrapbooking, memory keeping thing? I mean, we wouldn't be making the same things because your memories aren't going to be the same as my memories. Your pictures wouldn't be like, it would be more of an idea on what products to use and cutting your DSP and those types of things. I just, once I did that, I actually, I took Friday off. Okay, I'm trying it this way, Megan. Um, I know that didn't help. I'm trying it this way, the dies are underneath. Uh, I took Friday off to catch up on some stuff and started that knit page. Got stuck down a rabbit hole, did not accomplish anything besides that. So yeah, I have a lot to do, so a lot to do, so I can't allow myself to get caught in that rabbit hole again. I have to finish all my homework before I can play. Uh it's not all fuzzy at the side, this one. So maybe down is the way to go. 
it's definitely a cleaner cut. Where am I going to put these where I'm not going to lose them? You know what? This is magnetic, but the dies won't stick. Um, oh, let me hold up these two. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. Oh, Pam, I've got so much and I haven't been using it. I keep forgetting. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to rub it in. That sounded terrible. Okay, so these are the letters that were cut with the dies facing up into the paper. These are the ones where the dies were facing down into my mat. Look how fuzzy they are. Clean, fuzzy. Now, because I did the first three the same, we're going with fuzzy letters. So before, I really think I should have done adhesive sheet. Before we adhere them, I want to dry fit this. And I will tell you that this is inspired by a picture that I saw on Instagram. It was, um, I don't know which brand it was, maybe Lawn Fawn. I saw something like this. It did not have like Santa and the reindeer going across, but it's so cute, right? Now, do we put this right on the card or should we use one of the scalloped contour dies? If I can reach. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, microphone's hanging loose. Yes, exactly. Well, would they though? I just reversed the way that I'm, like instead of having the paper on the bottom and the die cutting into the mat, I turned it the other way. So it's still cutting the right way. It's just that the die is cutting towards you instead of towards the mat. So, I mean, already this thing is well loved okay what do we think i'm kind of thinking this one would look cute <gasps> we think and then have santa kind of hanging over the edge i'm gonna share this and tell me who it is <laughs> Maybe what I'll do after this is I will find the inspiration picture, which just had a bunch of cute little critters on it and uh, a side by side, because I really think this set of dies, oh, uh, where are you? This set of dies, I don't love the stamp set. I will tell you other than this sentiment. All right. I like this, the snowflakes, but if you only needed one, it's not like these cut out any of those images. All of these are standalone and how cute would it be to put that? But we're not going to. I want to keep it simple. Or do I? Oh, <laughs> it's only I can't spell. Oh, is this? I think that might be Barbara or is it? The card looks goo, I may case it. Um, these are standalone, you don't need the stamp set. So if these dies are on sale, and I'm not sure that they are, but I mean, get your free shipping and you're already saving. <sighs> Focus. Focus, right? I am going to keep this tone on tone because I think that will really make it shine, but I do want a little bit of dimension. Oh, I've gotten quite used to using my Tim Holtz Vagabond, the actual die cutting. It's like, oh, now I will tell you the one thing that I don't love about that machine is that you have to stand there and press it. It's not like the Gemini where you can feed it in. It does its thing and spits it back out. You do have to stand there. I'm just throwing stuff on the floor. Uh, you do have to stand there and push the button. I want to give you a little tip with these dies, and it could be that you don't this doesn't bother you. Not that you don't care, but it doesn't bother you. Do you notice that when you use those scalloped contour dies that the edges kind of pop up on the front, which can be super cute. I don't love it. So I just take my bone folder and rub that piercing down. It doesn't change how the piercing looks. It just means that this lies flat. Silly. I know, but just take your bone folder, flatten it out. You can tell me I'm being nuts. 
I just like it. Now, instead of using liquid glue and trying to avoid making a mess, I actually used my fine tip glue pen for the first time in ages yesterday. So I am going to use that. Now, the other thing I want to do, because I want to keep this rather straight. Um, how shall I do this? I'm going to grab the magnet for my Stamparatus, and I mentioned this board is magnetic. Uh, I think I'm going to put it in the middle. I think because I've got duct tape on there, it's not as strong as maybe it could be. I am going to make this precise because I think it would look bad if it's not. I'm going to share that, Megan, because someone may have an answer. Oh yeah. I find that no matter how careful I am with Tombow, I, oh, I make a mess every time, which is why I should have used the adhesive sheets. Okay. So I'm going to line that up. You don't have to be this particular. Now, I will be honest, I haven't tried this to make sure that it's going to stick. So I'll put a block down, except then I can't do anything else. 4,000% humidity. I won't trade you, but oh my goodness, is it dry here. I don't know if this is going to work. I think fine tip glue will work. So I'm trying to keep it straight and then I go and turn my paper. Ding dong. So once you get both of those letters done, you can move down to the next one. However, I want to dry fit this to make sure that I have about the same amount of room between them all. I don't know. We're going to try those two with liquid glue and then I'm going to use Tombow for the rest. I am having <laughs> minion post ho 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 way to go love it um i have been having a problem with being able to use all of my tombow it seems like it gets to a certain part of the bottle and then it just doesn't want to come out anymore like i know you're in there and then it's like come out come out and it like flies out okay so we're gonna do one two kind of two full grids in between something like that it is what it is and i still haven't done the d stash but i am thinking i've got people local that locally that want some cards so i'm kind of thinking before i give them all away and have to make a whole bunch more in a rush I should probably give them a kick at the can and then do my de-stash, right? <laughs> right? How many times do we struggle with gluing something down and then we're like, oh, should have used the adhesive sheets. And I will tell you, if you try and do it after the fact, it will be difficult. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> Okay, I think the Tombow is the way to go. We're gonna use the magnets to hold these down. Okay, so I don't know if I had two blocks in there, but whatever. It is what it is, right? So now the sucky thing is you can't see. Oh, well then you know what? We're gonna come down a little bit because that one ain't going anywhere. Neither is the fine tip glue. We'll come down on it a little bit of an angle. Watch, now that I try to do it, I won't be able to. It'll be completely straight. Um, what was I saying? My mat, it looks so beautifully white, but when I look through here, like I look through my phone, it looks so dark. And at least when I'm doing a video, like a YouTube video, I can lighten it. I can't do that on here, I don't think. Can I? Oh, I'm not going to mess with it right now. We're almost done. Oh, that's a lot. 
Ho, ho, ho. Now, if I wasn't live, this would probably go on easier. I'm not gonna floss it. Ooh, my hands look so old and... <laughs> Alrighty. I kind of wonder, I love the idea of them going over one of them. Yeah, I don't like it at the bottom. We kind of lose the middle hoe anyways. Where should it go? When you... <laughs> When you hate using glue, that's when you remember. Or do I put it in between? I feel like to put it in between, I would need four. Does it come down this way? Okay, so this is the part I hadn't worked out. You know what? I'm going to put it right there. I know I've got extra space on the bottom. <sighs> Progress over perfection, right? This is handmade. Not Hallmark. Okay, now I don't know how this is going to go with just liquid glue because those letters have a little bit of lift to them. We could have used the foam adhesive sheets, but I feel like that would have been really finicky to try and get all those little pieces out. So what do you think of this? Are you going to case it? I'd like to say it was a quick and easy project, but it wasn't all that quick only because of the die cutting. And I also think, hi Cheryl, I also think uh, over the middle is the best, right where you have it. Pull it down a little so it's in between. Let's see, I'm seeing all this now. Um, if you had the letters already cut, or if you were using like a Cricut or a Scan and Cut to cut out your letters, you could make so many of these. The part that would take the longest is cutting that part away white on white kind of want some ribbon or something I'm gonna keep it simple I joined a clean and simple Facebook group and oh, love it it's hard to do though isn't it keep that white space it's tricky if I had some red twine I'd probably put it around the top but oh, I like this my dear could use a bit more glue, but oh, it's so cute. What do you think? I love that it's got the red velvet and the glitter paper. It really makes it festive. <laughs> Might be cute to have like a little red rhinestone at the end as a period, but like the period at the end of a sentence. Awkward. Okay. Nice! Horizon instead of vertical. And I don't know if you noticed, but on my cloche example, simple is not easy. Exactly! Thank you for putting your name in there, Wendy. Um, this is a top folding card that opens sideways. And I swear, I stamped another one. I don't know what I did with it. I had one where it was just the top bird. Anyways. You can have a top folding card that opens sideways because you know what? One of my team members said, these ones don't fall down. You know when you have a top folding card and it does that? <laughs> and I do a lot of top folding cards. I don't do side folding. So I feel like in order to have a card that stands, you need to have lots of layers, but this one does. So maybe in order to have one that stands, you need very little going on. Okay. So that is it for this week. I am going to thank you, Cheryl. Uh, I am going to go prep all this stuff. Look at all that. It's like 150 cards. So it is not too late to get in on the Craft and Connect, but you will be purchasing the tutorial, not the kit, because I'm not cutting any more. Um, but you can easily make them from the tutorial. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Uh, if you're planning on placing an order over $65, make sure you get it in while the free shipping is still on. They only do this, I think, once a year, maybe twice. But um, it, nothing is guaranteed for Christmas anymore. I mean, maybe expedited, but even at that, it can take some time. Thank you, Megan. You all take care. Have a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you soon. Bye.